Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Steve. And we're from the All Electric family. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Velotric Nomad One e-bike. Yeah, it is a fat tire step through e-bike that Velotric sent us to do a review on. And we were really excited when they sent us the opportunity to do this because we were in the market for a new e-bike. Yeah, one of the big reasons that we agreed to this one is because it's a step through. And with our last one, it was a Unero X cargo bike, which is a super awesome bike. We put seats on the back so the kids could ride along and that served its purpose, but now our kids are too big for that, that bike. And so we cannot have them ride on a bike. So this will be Katie's bike. And it was becoming increasingly more and more difficult for me to get onto a bike that was not a step through. I am 5'3", I am pretty short. So stepping over a bar on a bike is pretty difficult. They have cool colors, great specs, and we'll get into more of that when we get into um, unboxing it and showing you the bike. We are also going to do a little test drive on this video. Um, it might have to be a different day. It was snowing just a few minutes ago, so it's not great weather for testing out a bike, but we will get a test in before we put this video out. Should we get to unboxing? Let's unbox. All right. Is it going? Yeah, is this the part where I get to drink coffee while you do the work? I'm excited to see the color on this. That's what I'm excited about too, actually. Let's not knock over our cool decanter back there. Ooh, I like it. I see it just a bit. Oh, I didn't. Nice. You guys can't see it yet, but lots of good padding, so it's well protected. Oh, there it goes. Toolkit. Supposedly it has all the tools that you need, so. That'll be nice. You get it? You might have the head. I don't know end. if I can go high enough. Hold on. Okay, got it. Ooh, I like that color. All right, what else we got in there? Oh, that's all. Some foam. <laughs> all right, let's get the big giant box out of the way. The big tires make it great for like all different terrains, including snow. It does have fenders, which is nice too. If you, you know, ridden a bike without fenders and you go through a puddle or something, it splashes up on you. So that's nice to have fenders. We'll look at what's in the tool kit. Comes with a quick start guide, manual for the bike, and everything that you need. We're gonna continue to remove all of this protective wrapping and get everything off so we can get the bike assembled. So this is the battery, and it is a Tesla grade battery. And Steve probably remembers the specs more than I do. 14.4 amp hour battery. Yeah. Uh, it's 48 volt. It's a decent sized battery. So we'll set this aside for now. Velotrick does have a YouTube channel and they have a how to put it together video that is really good. I watched it multiple times, so I'm sure I'm not going to do this perfectly, but understand uh, that they have a how to video for that. So if you do end up getting this bike, I would suggest going over there. has these nice little things to line up here. So we'll just get this started and then we can line it up. Yeah, that's nice. One of the things that I will mention um, while Steve's working on it is that currently it does not have an integrated braking, like brake light system. It does have a little light that you can turn on. You know, it's got your little light so people can see you. It does have a headlight. So the battery, not only can you remove it, it does have keys so you can lock the battery in if you were gonna go, like if you needed to leave your bike outside somewhere, you know, you drove it someplace, um, the battery locks into place, but you can take it in uh, to charge it if you want to. So you can take it off of the bike and then the charger is here covered with this little rubber cover and then you can go charge the battery. So I'm going to see if it's charged, make sure it's charged. Comes on, so we got it. 
It says it's fully charged. Yep, it's got assist. Woo woo! You've got miles per hour, battery, trip, and then your assist level, and you can control your assist level with these buttons over here. You've got your brakes, you got your shifter, your bell. Okay, so it's set up, it's powered on. How did it go? I mean, I did a lot of holding things, but. Yeah, pretty easy. If watching that video really helped put this together, it made this a breeze. So I would suggest doing that. It maybe took a half hour yeah. altogether. It could have went faster if I maybe watched it a couple more times, but <laughs> you know, it everything looks good. It's a good looking bike. I really like how it looks. Really easy to get in and out of. Sunday is supposed to be a warmer and sunnier day, so we will hopefully get out and test it then. All right, so it is a balmy 33 degrees out today, so at least the sun is out, but we're gonna give this bike a quick test drive. Got my heated gloves, got my big giant coat, so hopefully I won't be too cold, but I'm excited to test this out and see how it does. It should be pretty smooth. It's got five levels of pedal assist, so, Let's try it out. The other thing that this has, it does have a throttle, so you can use the throttle to go, and, and it has gears as well. So let's test it out. This is a great bike. I really like how it rides. It's really smooth. Uh, the handlebars, the way that it sits you up, it's really comfortable to ride. The pedals may be a little short. I could bring the seat up a little bit. Then I would have trouble, you know, touching when I was sitting on the seat, which I think technically is not where <laughs> how it's supposed to fit, but it's the way I prefer that it fit. So you can start the bike without pedaling so you can just use the throttle to get the bike going which is nice if you needed to get started that way over bumps and everything it handles it really well and i think this is a great bike if you wanted to take a look at this bike be sure to use the link in the description below to check this bike out we've got it down there for you i'm sure you'll see it again in our adventures because i really enjoyed this bike